Hello, I'm Jack McCartney from the Superfoiler Grand Prix. I'm the Chief Operating Officer and here at Innovation Composites today. Today we're at the point where we're getting to the end of the build of the moulds. The hull moulds are now complete, float mould is almost complete and the beam mould is complete. So it's a bit of a milestone week I would say. From here we start making parts and you know within the next month we're going to have a boat to look at which is going to be bizarre and amazing all the same. It's been a big sort of six weeks getting to this point, pushing the guys here at Innovation to stay on track with the timeline and at this point they're doing a great job. Visiting the boat from the design drawings that Morelli and Melvin have, have put together and, and now starting to see the actual shape coming to fruition and seeing the actual dimensions of it, it's been really interesting. It's a, a lot more powerful looking than what I imagined. I haven't really put it into too much context yet because we've been so embedded in the design and getting things going that now just seeing the mould coming together is quite something. And I think the next stage seeing the boats, you know, actually popping out is going to be huge for us. You know, very exciting, exciting milestone ahead um, with boat one going to be launched. We've had plenty of hurdles along the way. Having said that, you know, working with Innovation Composites has just been fantastic. They've been uh, you know, on point with everything they've done from even pitching for the work. They had all the right questions and answers you know, up until this point of just really been knuckling down and getting the job done. They're can-do people and a great bunch of, bunch of people working you know, throughout the organisation from the top office right down to the apprentices. So that's just been good working relationships so far and you know, I, we've got a lot of forward planning in doing what we're doing now in, in building the moulds and getting set up to build the following seven boats after boat one so you know there's a lot to think about and so far so good.